Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jen and I'm a stay at home wife and mom. I pretty much make videos to keep myself sane. So if you're in the same boat, consider subscribing. All you have to do is hit that red button down below. In today's video, I'm sharing with you 10 baby names I'm currently loving. So if you're ready, let's do this. All right guys, so if you're just tuning in, I am currently 19 weeks pregnant. The hubby and I are expecting our second baby due in December. So within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be finding out that we're having a boy or a girl. So we're definitely in the process of picking out names that we love. So I thought I'd kind of share with you guys what's kind of been on my mind and what's been and what names I've been loving. It's hard enough as it is to find a name that the hubby and I can agree on, let alone finding a name that actually pairs well with Frick. So it's been a process, but I thought it'd be super fun to just start sharing with you guys names that I've been loving. So with that being said, let's get into the boy names. Boy names are so hard for me to find, finding a name that isn't too unusual, too common, but it's also something that's strong and manly. It is really hard, but I've narrowed it down to these five so far. Um, so let's start with the first one. The first name I've been loving is Luke. I feel like I do hear this name here and there. It is a very strong, manly name, and I don't know, I just really like it. It just sounds like a very um, confident man. So I've loved this name for a little while now. I think the hubby is okay with this name, but we're not set on it. But it is something that we do enjoy, and I think it pairs pretty well with Frick, Luke Frick. It sounds pretty strong. And I do love names that have like that ka sound in it. I feel like it's a very strong sounding, I don't know. It just makes a, a name very strong sounding and I really do like it. So Luke has been a name that I've been really into lately. Okay, the next name is also a pretty common one. It's Grayson. The hubby is not on board for this name, so we're definitely not using it. But I do love that name. It's such a sweet name. I do like spelling it with an E. I spell gray with an E in general, so it only makes sense to spell Grayson with an E. But I think it's super cute, and any Grayson that I've met, they're just so charming and so, like, I don't know, they have a lot of energy, and it's just so sweet. So I really do like the name Grayson. I'm also all about nicknames. Hence why we named our daughter Cameron, because we can call her Cam, and I just love being able to have those options. I mean, my name is Jen, full name Jennifer. I've always been a nickname type of person. So, love the name Grayson and the nickname Gray. Okay, so the next name is Graham. I, for some reason, have been really into this name. I haven't told the hubby about this name yet, but I'm really digging it. I don't really hear this name, but I think Graham just sounds like a very confident, charming, handsome man, and I don't know, I'm really, I'm really digging it. Someone who's just like a super athlete would be named Graham, um, and the hubby is obviously an athlete, so, I mean, hopefully, if we have a boy, I'll have his athletic genes from him. Definitely not from me, but I think Graham would be such a sweet name and just a really handsome, again, confident man. I, I really do like the name Graham. Graham Frick. Just doesn't really flow too well, but I mean, I would make it work. I think if we had a good middle name, I think we could make Graham work. So we'll see. The next name is also pretty unique. It's the name Britton. I love that name. The spelling would be B-R-I-T-T-O-N with the nickname Brit. I really love that. I just feel like it's a very manly, masculine name. I mean, any boy name really would be masculine, but in general, I feel like in my mind, the names that I picked out are just extra masculine and extra manly, but anyway, um, I really do like the name Britain, and it just sounds really unique. It sounds like some a name that hasn't really been used, and I really do like the nickname. So, so Britain has been a name that's been on my mind, Britain Frick. I think that has a good ring to it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below, but I really do like that name. I feel like in general, I should probably look up the meanings to these names, because I feel like meanings are something people are really into, but for me, I feel like when I see and hear a name, that's when I fall in love with it. It's the way they're spelled and the way that the name sounds like is how I really enjoy a name. So, I mean, finding out the meaning behind a name would be a bonus, but anyway, the last boy name I'm loving um, is definitely unique and not really common. If you watch the show Southern Charm, you know exactly who I'm talking about and the name is Shepard. I know, such a crazy, interesting name, but I love it. I love that it is a strong name 
and the nickname Shep is so cute. Obviously on the show, Shep doesn't really have the greatest reputation when it comes to the ladies, but in general, I really love that name. My sister is the one that actually suggested this name, Should We Have a Boy. Honestly, it's growing on me. I really do like it. Um, I haven't told the hubby about this name yet either, so it could be a contender, but I really do like that name. So Shepard is the last boy name I'm loving. Okay, so let's get into the girl names. Girl names are so much easier for me to find and love. Growing up, I've always thought of girl names, what I was going to name my daughter, all that stuff. So girl names have always come easier for me, which is why I'm saving it for the second half. But I'm going to start off with the first name, and this has been a name I've loved forever. The name is Kaylee. I love that name so much. We originally were going to name Cameron Kaylee, but it just obviously didn't work out. I feel like it did get I feel like it did get more popular. All of a sudden, the people that were in my life were loving the name Kaylee, and I was like, I can't use this name. Um, it's too common. It's getting too popular, but I really love that name so much, and I love the nickname Kay, but yeah, it just didn't work out for us, but I still love that name so much. I worked at a dance studio when I was 14, and I met the sweetest, sassiest girl named Kaylee Faith, and I've loved that name ever since. So if you are named Kaylee or have a daughter named Kaylee, I mean, I love it. It's such a pretty name, um, and I wish it had worked out, but obviously it didn't. So, okay, so the next name I'm loving is Leah. Um, Leah spelled L-E-A. If you guys ever watched the show Glee, one of the main characters, her real name is Leah Michelle. She played Rachel Berry on the show. And for some reason, I am obsessed with her. I love the way she spells her name, L-E-A, and I just think she's so cute. I feel like when I see, like, I know I don't know these celebrities in real life, but when I see them in interviews and they're just kind of like charming and sassy, I instantly love them and then love their name. So Leah has just been a name that I've been loving. Um, yeah, it's short and sweet. Obviously, there's no nickname to it, but I just love that name. So Leah has been a name that I've just been really into. So the next name I'm just loving is Colette. I feel like Colette is such a cool girl's name. Someone that really exudes confidence. And I love the nickname Coco. Um, it just sounds so cool and like sophisticated. If you guys ever watched The Real Housewives of Orange County, one of the housewives, Heather Dubrow, used to be on the show, and I think her little girl's name was Colette, and they nicknamed her Coco, and I love the name ever since. Clearly, I'm loving these names based on, like, guilty pleasure TV shows, but whatever. It's no big deal. Uh, no shame in my game. So, I really do like the name Colette, and I just think it has that really European flair to it, and it just sounds like a name that isn't really used these days, so I really like the name Colette. Really digging that one, but the hubby does not like that one, so we won't be using it. Okay, so the next name is definitely a little mouthy. It's named Kensington. I've actually loved this name for a little while as well, um, but it is just a bit too long. But I just love the nickname Kenzie for like a little girl who's running around. Um, I just think it's so cute. And Kensington sounds really regal and royal, um, sophisticated. Apparently, I really like sophisticated names. But yeah, Kensington is one of them. But again, it's just a little too mouthy, um, I think. But I think it's so pretty. So Kensington has been one that I've loved for a while. And these aren't in order. These are just names that I've just been loving lately. But yeah, the last one I've been really into is Daphne. Um, if you guys know Daphne Oz, I love that name because of her. Um, I follow her on Instagram. I just think she's ultimate mom goals. So I've just been really loving her name. And I know the hubby does not like that name. But I personally think it's really pretty. And again, I find names through people that I see or meet. And then the way that their personality shines, that's how I really fall in love with the name. So that's why I really love the name Daphne. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my current favorite baby names. I'm sure they'll be changing from now until when I'm due. So keep checking back and seeing what names I'm currently loving. But if you enjoyed watching this video and wanna see more, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and let's get to know each other. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.